Hi everybody, Peter Olsop back again, once again, sorry it's been such a long time between videos, work has been an absolute grueler just lately. Anyway, what's this video about? This video is about using two cameras, that's two cameras with LumaFusion. Now is this easy or is this difficult? It's quite easy really. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you set up both cameras the same so they're both on the same frames per second that the white balance is the same etc etc now the main camera I'm using is my Osmo Pocket which I'm looking at now and the second camera I'm using is my Galaxy S10 Plus now I've got audio on both of these cameras because what I need to do is I need to sync the audio on this camera with the audio on this camera to make it look correct later on in LumaFusion. Luma I'll put my teeth back in and I might be okay then. So, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to import both videos into LumaFusion and then once I've done that, you'll be able to see how relatively easy it is to do this. So, let's crack on. Let's import the videos into LumaFusion and then we'll have a look and show you how to do it. Now obviously the first thing I've got to do is open a new project and we're going to call the new project two cameras. Fairly simple. And then we're going to import the video from the Osmo Pocket. And I'm just going to make it just a little bit smaller so it's easier to handle. And then we're going to import the video from my phone, from my Galaxy ST3. And then what we do is we line everything up using the audio track. So if you can see the audio tracks look fairly good there. And what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to zoom in that little bit just to have a look and make sure that I've got everything correct and just make a slight adjustment on it just to line it up a little bit better there we go and play it now and see what it's like yeah that seems to be fine and then I'm going to trim the ends off so we start the video in the right place I'm just going to have a look up and down and make sure everything looks okay and then I'm going to let it play and make sure that everything is actually bob on, not spot on, or bob on, but bob on in sync. So that's that done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the colours for my S10 Plus because with them being two different cameras they come up a little bit different and I'm going to adjust the the frame and the fit as well to get them how I want them. So I'm going to line everything up and get everything exactly as I want it. And that's that done. And I've done that before I start cutting and trimming or anything. Now I've turned the volume all the way down on the audio from my S10 Plus because I don't want to hear it. I only want one audio track and that is the one from the Osmo Pocket. I definitely don't want two audio tracks running. And now I've lined them up and everything's perfect. I can do that, it's not a problem. What we need to remember is the top track is from my phone and the bottom track is from the Osmo. So what I need to do is I need to cut the top track so it disappears and only the bottom track shows when I'm looking at the Osmo. So I find where I want to cut it for when I swap from one camera to the other and delete the track from my Osmo, uh, from, sorry, from my phone. So I'm looking at the Osmo pocket. Then when I go back to looking at my phone, it's using the top track, which is my mobile. Then when I swap back again, I need to make another cut. So I'm looking for where I swap from one phone to the other. 
just making sure that that's okay all right so I'm now looking at the phone and when I change back to looking at the Osmo I need to make another cut and delete the top track again and save it being ultra boring what I've done is I speeded the rest of the editing up all the way through but all you have to remember is the top track is one camera the bottom track is the other camera and after that it's absolutely dead easy so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please share Please subscribe down there somewhere, wherever it is, and I will see you, and you, again in the near future. Bye everybody, see you later.